swoosh, just do it. 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 Swoosh Ben was a guy, he knew it. Swoosh had to talk, got through it. 2K Sports presents the NBA Monday Night Basketball. It's coming right up. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. It's the Miami Heat taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. It'll be the Heat off the tip. Here's Wade. So the opening lineup for the Heat. Chris Bosh is out there with Shane Battier. And it's LeBron James. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's Allen in at the two. It's good. Yeah, not a lot to be done if LeBron gets a solid screen in a pick and roll set like that one. Bryant passes to Grant. Back to Bryant. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Shots good by Bosch. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, here is O'Neal. He hits it from nine. And O'Neal, just a brute on the block. Simply overpowers the opposition. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Wade feeling it out a bit over Bryant. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And Kobe throws it down hard. And Bryant just a superb athlete, terrific at just imposing his will on the defense on that drive. Heat on offense. Wade passes to Allen. Passes it to James. Los Angeles Colorado. Rick Moss. That's his first personal foul. Puts it up from 17. The shot, no good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. And it's Wade with the ball for the Heat. Trailing by four. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. The Lakers making a switch here. Or he's checked in. Wade against Fisher. With the teardrop. And the bucket is good from Wade in deep. Well, so many tricks up his sleeve. Dwayne Wade, phenomenal, realizing when to pull out that reliable floater. Pass to O'Neal. Out left to the wing. Here's Fisher. Sinks the triple. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. Now Wade. Allen outside. Kicks to Battier. Wash high post. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Bosch has got his second basket. Well, the basketball mind that Dwayne Wade possesses is so special. What understanding and feel for where his guys will be. Now here's Bryant. He's got six. Count that one. Kobe's got eight points. They are on fire, just in a great groove here early on. 
Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Allen outside, takes a three, and Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist from Derek Fisher. That's 10 points for Kobe Bryant. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And so Allen will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Seven-point differential. The pass to Wade. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Listen, we know that LeBron James can score at will, but he is phenomenal at hitting his guys with perfectly placed passes. Now, here is O'Neal. Here's Kobe. O'Neal trying to break free. And again, Kobe Bryant. He's got 12. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. The Heat trail by seven. And Miami time out, time calls out. their first time out of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Madsen, he's checked in for the Lakers. Shaw comes in for Fisher. Heat also with a sub. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Shane Battier. Wade passes to LeBron. Wade outside. From 17 feet out. And it's off the back rim. No good. Los Angeles leading by seven. Outside Bryant. From deep. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Ori against James. It's blocked by Shaq. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack no doubt greg on the offensive end it feels like they're getting the shots they want and defensively they are connected and on a string here's wade after the basket by los angeles pass to allen will it go that falls nice feed that time from Dwayne wade and this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Here's O'Neal. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The Heat trail by 12. And here's Wade. Outside Bush. Back to Wade. James against Dory. James misses. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. And Bryant slams it in. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, Greg, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's Allen following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Wade outside. Shoots. And it's Madsen with the rebound. Lakers leading by 14. Outside Bryant. 119 left in the first quarter. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And it's the Heat with the ball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Miami no good on that time either. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. A 
again, the Lakers. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now here's LeBron. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Basket, good. Almost seems unfair, gentlemen, to have a guy as strong as LeBron be able to handle the ball the way he does. Stolen by Bosch. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Allen, that's good. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. From close range, the shot's good. Shaq's got his third bucket of the night. I mean, it takes a lot to knock O'Neal off balance. A massive player who just fins off the D with ease. From deep three-point range, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll get right back to the action when we return. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area. And boy, is it paying dividends. Lakers leading by 16. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Heat, we've got Allen. Haslam's out there with Chris Bosh. Then there's Lewis. And it's Wade in at the one. Now, here's Fox. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. The Heat trail by 18. Wade outside. To the paint. And the jam by Udonis Haslam. Well, you love how committed Dwayne Wade is to moving the basketball. This guy's always been a team-first guy. Harper with the ball. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Here's Madsen. Six on the shot clock. Lou. It's hauled in by the Heat. Allen surveying the D. Passes it to Lewis. Beyond the arc. Rebound that time. Collected by Madsen. Harper dishes to George. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. I mean, the number of points they scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Madsen. Heat also with a sub. Battier's checked in. The Heat trail by 19. Here's Wade. And then Wade slams it in. I tell you, you give him a head of steam, this guy can drop the hammer. Dwayne Wade doing work. Feeds to Grant. The kick out to Fox. Pass to Grant. Left side, George. Outside, Harper. There's the pass to Lou. Shot clock at five. Back to Grant. Lakers working the ball around now. Lou can't get it to go. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. I think we have to check his sanity because there's a number of better options on the floor. 
Los Angeles leading by 15. Pass to Grant. Outside, Fox. Back to Grant. Releases from 15. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got four points this quarter. And so Allen will bring it up for the Heat. It's Haslam atop the key. Allen in the post. He's guarded by Harper. Wade outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Haslam, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Derek Fisher's checked in for the Lakers. Derek Fisher. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. He kicks it to Fox. Grant down low. Haslam's there. Pass to Fisher. Let's the three fly. Buries the long range jumper. Fisher's got six. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. The Heat trail by 20. And there's the call on Derek Fisher. That's his first foul. Los Angeles on D. Only giving up six here in this quarter. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Fox knocks it away. Outside Harper. Lets it go from deep. They get it again. Pass to Fisher. Moves back up. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. The Heat trail by 20. Now here's Wade. Eight points for him. They get a hand on it. Fast break, here they come. Lob pass to George, an emphatic LU champ. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now, here's Wade. George against Patio. Down low, shot to stop the run, and he sinks the layup. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. Lakers leading by 20. Outside, George. Outside, Fox. There's the three. The shot's good on the assist by George. Fox has got seven points here in this quarter. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Fox has gone a perfect three for three so far. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. And the Lakers with some changes. O'Neal's checked in for George. Shaw subbed in for Ron Harper. And Miami with a change here, too. James checked in for Udonis Haslam. Now here's Wade. LeBron James on the wing, guarded by O'Neal. Good! And that's 10 points for Wade. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Now the pass to Shaw. And Lewis comes to help. Here's Shaq. Tries again. Pass to Shaw. Launches it. Back to O'Neal, over Lewis, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Shaq's got eight points. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. And there's Battier, that's good on the assist by James. LeBron's got three assists tonight. 
and really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Now, here's Fox. He has seven. Here's Fisher. The kick out to Fox. Back to Shaq. Nice shot from 10 feet out. O'Neal's got four points now in the quarter. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Timeout called the Heat. And no doubt coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Madsen, he's checked in for the Lakers. Ori comes in for Fox. Chris Bosh is checked in for the Heat. LeBron, good. Uh, LeBron was anticipating that catch and shoot. Nicely done. Lakers leading by 21. Passes to Manson. Lakers passing it around. Out to the wing. Here's Shaw. And the three ball is good. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And so here is Miami. Allen for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Uh, I'm shocked bounds. that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And Miami has possession. James outside. He gets that one. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Well, I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Here's Shaq. Manson passes to O'Neal. Some solid defense from Bosch. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. LeBron drives in. Can't hit from in close. Here's Ori. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's on Dwayne Wade. Los Angeles shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes the first but misses the second. Here's Bosch, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Bosch has got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Over to the left wing. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. O'Neal. And the Lakers with another miss. And even three-on-three three break. Here's LeBron. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got assist number five here tonight. From deep. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers taking a 19-point lead into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They are dominating the scoring, leading by 19. Kenny? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? Well, there's no wonder they're getting blown out. No energy, no fight in the rebound battle. Ernie, you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up starting now, or it's going to be impossible to come back. Like the Pythagorean theorem times 50 times 100 times 50 times 10. Impossible to figure out, Ernie. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. Ooh, that first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, this guy, he plays fast, he's aggressive, and if you let him get to the cup, there is nothing that you can do about it. Grant is out there with Shaquille O'Neal. Then there's Derek Fisher, and there's Bryant. Oh, oh that was <laughs> worth the price of admission. I mean, I love seeing Bryant just get up and go for it. His leaping ability never ceases to impress. Now Allen. And here is Battier. This one for three. Allen shot is off. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. The shot by Kobe, no good. A drive by Allen, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Allen's got six points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Bryant against Allen. It's Bryant, high post. He's got 27. And it takes a Herculean defensive effort to rattle Bryant. He sinks contested shots at will. How about his focus? James with it. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Pass to Bryant. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Way to attack there and then create the contact. This is his first free throw of the game. Kobe Bryant at the line for two. First one falls for him. And Kobe drops them both. And so Allen will bring it up for the Heat. And the Heat all time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Battier kicks to Wade. Here's James. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Stop it. What can you do? James is so big and athletic that sometimes you have to foul him if you're on the defensive end. Miami shooting their first free throws of this two shots.
The first free throw is good. Father time has not caught up to LeBron James yet. This man looks like he is on a mission, and he continues to add to his legacy. Lou, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Heat also with a sub. Haslam's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. Lakers leading by 23. To the wing right side. Here's Grant. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Grant's got his first points in this one. And that jumper of Grant is on point here tonight. He's thinking about shooting even before the pass comes his way. Miami with the ball. And there's the pass to James. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Here's the floater. He takes it up and lays it in. James has got 14 points for the game. I'd say the strength of a locomotive and the finesse of a ballerina each time he takes it to the rim. They get it back. The kick out to Bryant. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Kobe's got 11 in the second half. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Allen right side. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. So it's the Lakers now. Here's O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. O'Neal is a force of nature. Once he gets it that low, it is a foregone conclusion. And here are the Heat now. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, last season, the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. Now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. And that will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do on the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thank you. And the Lakers making a change here. George has checked in. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Wade passes to Allen. And here's Bosch. Releases. The Lakers with the rebound. O'Neal's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Lou. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The drive by Bryant. Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got his fourth rebound in this one. Lewis with it. Picked up by Bryant. Lewis misses. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. The shot by Kobe, no good. Here's Wade. A second chance effort. It's blocked by Shaq. Bryant drives in. Count it. Kobe's got 38 points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Timeout called the Heat. Some changes for the Lakers. Madsen, he's checked in for O'Neal. Ori comes in for Horace Grant. And it's Harper in for Lou. Heat also with a sub. Jones is checked in. Now, here's Wade. Ten points for him. Looking to end his cold spell. Count that one. Wade's got 12. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Pass to George. On the wing, Bryant. Wade is covering from 11 feet away. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by George. Kobe's got 40 points. Oh. 
Now here's Wade. 12 points for him. And the layup's good off the glass. 14 points for him. Well, this is perhaps the best weapon in Dwayne Wade's very varied arsenal. The feel and the paint, incredible. Harper dishes to Bryant. Over Wade. And another basket for the Lakers. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Outside Bosch. Wade finds Bosch. Here's Lewis. Over George. That one off the back iron and out. Three on three. Let's it go from 11. And Kobe finishes inside. Kobe's got 44. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Miami. 143 left in the third quarter of the game. Out to the right wing. And Aslam kicks to Wade. Six to shoot. Plenty of space. And the jumper is good. Well, he's turned himself into a smooth shooting two-man, right? Wade delivers time and time again. Passes it to George. To the inside. The kick out to Bryant. Here's Madsen. He's covered by Bosch. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Here's Haslam. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Pass to George. The kick out to Bryant. Over Jones. Bryant's shot is off. Wade against Harper. And Los Angeles with some changes. Shaw comes in for Kobe. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Harper. Shane Battier is checked in for the Heat. Johnson comes in for Dwayne Wade. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Lakers Derek Fisher. That's his third personal foul. Miami shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. John Jones taking two shots. First free throw is good. The Heat making a switch here. James is checked in. He hits both from the stripe. Now Fisher. Six points for him. Outside, George. Out to the right wing. And the pass to Fisher. Here's Madsen. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Well, how about the effort on the glass? Even with this lead, I love that they're still going That's after it. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Rick Fox. Get out Bring it back. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. You know, looking at the turnover story, they've had a few miscues along the way, but as we see on the scoreboard, it hasn't hurt them. Fifteen seconds left to play in the third. Jones against Fisher. Batty and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one misses. Shot. 
and he ends up missing both free throws. Here's Shaw. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Shaw has got five points so far. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. They have been excellent at both ends of the floor. The scoreboard showing what a complete performance this has been. Back right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Shaw has gone two or three from the floor. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. Jones is out there with Brown. Then it's Shane Battier, and it's LeBron James, and it's Johnson in at the small forward position. A lot of people look at that general manager position with the team. I think it grows with some organization, maybe shrinks in importance with others. Uh, but by and large, it is more stable than coaching, isn't it? That, well, that position of being a GM. Yeah, and I think, Kevin, if you were to ask coaches, one of the things I've heard sort of thrown out there as an idea is when you list the head coach's record, why not list the GM's record as well? Because the mm. reality is success in the NBA is contingent on so many things. What's your ownership like? What kind of front office personnel have they made great decisions? Do you have the best possible coaching comparative to the talent on your roster? So much contributes to winning, Kevin. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. And Johnson drops them both. Here is Shaw. Pass to Manson. Offside Fox. Over LeBron. Fox, no good. Jones against LeBron. With some arc, and the layup is up and in. Well, it's simply going to take more of an effort than that to deter LeBron James. The strength and the skill set are overpowering. Passes it to Ryder. Here's Manson. Here is Shaw. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And here's Jones. Battier outside. Here's the three. And it's Fox with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Deflects the pass. And they're running. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. It's good. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Doris, isn't it interesting that we're seeing some teams with more three-point attempts than two-point attempts? It's incredible, Kevin, that every year over the last decade, you see more three-point attempts across all 30 NBA teams. And think about the Houston Rockets. In each of the last two years, the Rockets have actually taken more threes than twos. This is the evolution of the game. It is not going anywhere. There's two high-valued shot in the league. Restricted area twos, that means point-blank opportunities at the rim and three-point shots. And everything else in between seems to be getting lost. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Lakers. O'Neal's check in for Fox. And it's Lou in for Shaw. In the corner, it's James. 
Heat moving the ball around. Johnson, the pass to LeBron. That's tipped. Pass break. The Lakers. Here's Shaq and the dunk by O'Neal. And boy, he gets a great jump on the rest of the field there and just leaves them behind. Oh, you love the awareness, the decisiveness. Great job there. The Heat on offense. Inside, here's Battier. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got four assists now tonight. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Lou, that's good. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And so James will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Shaq against LeBron. Pass to Ryder. Over Johnson. Ryder, no good. LeBron outside. They grab their own miss. Here's Battier. They shoot again. The dish to LeBron. Trying to find Battier. He's got it now. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Shaq. Doris, basketball continues to gain in popularity around the world, doesn't it? It's amazing to me. It does. Adam Silver, the commissioner, has said, I believe we can be the number one spot in the world. Obviously, they'd have to overcome the soccer, and that's popularity. But think about this, Kevin, how inclusive a game basketball is. And the love spans across gender, race, ethnicity, religious affiliation. And the best part about the game of basketball is this, Kevin. When you're growing up and trying to get better, you need a ball, you need a hoop, and you need you, and you don't need anything else. That is so well said. Grant, he's checked in for Manson. Both free throws, good from Battier. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Trying to get open is Shaq. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. And here are the Heat now. Smith outside. Poke loose. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And the Lakers making a change here. Harper's checked in. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for the Heat. To the middle. Here's Smith. The Lakers with the rebound. Shaq down low. He's guarded by Haslam. The pass to Ryder. Here's Grant. Again, Los Angeles. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Grant's gone three of five, shooting from the floor. Pass to Smith. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Smith's got his first points of the night. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. O'Neal up top. He's guarded by Haslam. Back to O'Neal. Pulls it from 20. Sean Lewis pulls it in. It's three on three on the fast break. Stripped away. Here's Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Yeah, you know, that level of physicality that Grant brings inside is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. Smith, the pass to Smith, to the inside. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Grant outside. Over Lewis. Grant, that's good. Grant's got eight here in the quarter. 
He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Grant's gotten five of his seven shots to fall. Knocks it loose. No good that time. Now the Heat take it the other way. Passes it to Smith. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Doris, all right, this is going to come out of the blue here, but if you had to choose between raising the height of the basket or widening the floor or even widening the lane, which would it be? I have very strong feelings on this, Kevin, and I, for me it would be widening the floor. And the reason I say that is it feels to me in the last couple of years there are more sideline violations where teams are turning it over because they're trying to get to that corner three, one of the most advantageous, best shots in today's game. But because that three-point line is so close to the sideline out of bounds, we're seeing too many violations. So if I had to choose between one or the other, I would absolutely widen the floor. And that one's good, George. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. And it's Jones with the ball for the Heat. And it's Lewis at the elbow. And the Heat get another bucket right there. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. And O'Neal gets it to go. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Here's Haslam. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Haslam's gone two or three from the field. Pass to Ryder. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Shaq. Again, the Lakers. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. The Heat on offense. Of course, here's something kind of interesting. There's been a lot of talk about moving the draft to after free agency. What would that look like? Well, I think talent is always going to be at a premium. So I would think if there's a, a guy that's the absolute definitive number one pick, he's going number one regardless of roster construction. But the reality is it might help those teams who maybe if they know who's on the roster, it might change the kind of draft selection they would make. So it's an interesting supposition. Uh, we'll see if the NBA moves in that direction. Madsen, he's checked in for the Lakers. Jones comes in for Ron Harper. And Miami also making a switch. Brown, he's checked in for Udonis Haslam. And so Jones nails both of them. 107 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Jones. Offensive rebound. Over Jones. To the wing on the left. Outside, Jones. Launches a three. Good on the triple. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And here are the Heat now, following the three by the Lakers. And Lewis, one of those guys that can fit into a lot of different roles. But depending on what his team needs, he's got a diverse skill set. He's got size, and this guy loves shooting the three. And the first one at the line is good. That one is no good. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Here's O'Neal. And he drops it in from the low post. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork, G.A. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now, here's Brown. Looks for Lewis, gets it to him. Lays it up off the glass. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. 
No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Shooting for Los Angeles, Shaquille O'Neal. At the line for two. The first one falls. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Ryder, then the pass to O'Neal, and good that time. Letting the guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw, that, that is inexcusable. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Yeah, that's a bad move there. Stops the clock and puts the other side on the line. No good on the free throw. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. No good. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.